Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Just got home, man. Love y'all. Just wanna welcome. Come on in. While in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Changed my life forever. Forever? Forever. No, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so, come on back. So, so I want to put this out there. I've learned a lot about stereotypes. I learned a lot about because me as an African-American, I've dealt with my share of racism and people deciding not to do this, have me in mind for this or that. Not only am I a black man, but I'm a dark-skinned black man. And some folks may say that's old school, but it's so real. I want y'all to understand that I, I, I personally went and visited the Middle East, Dubai and Abu Dhabi, and I felt the love and energy in America, but out there, I've never experienced the level of love that I've experienced in a short period of time ever in my life. And for those people of America who, because of all of the terrorist attacks and all of the things that have happened that's associated to the Middle East, I don't want y'all to clump the entire Middle East and all of the people of the Middle East with the bad habits and the bad moments that a few particular people have done. Because they've done that to black people, they've done that to white people, they've done it to Latinos. Because of one thing or several people from one particular race or group has done, they've clumped everybody all in together. My personal experience is that after my friend Paul Walker died, I was sad. It's probably my first time ever experiencing being depressed, but I didn't even know it. The great nation of Abu Dhabi and Dubai gave me my smile back. And I love y'all forever. I came home with a sense of purpose. I came home and I found my smile again. And I just wanted to send y'all some love and say thank you for everything. Um, you have changed my life forever. Thank you for taking care of my friends and Will Smith, uh, Maxwell, Red Cafe, just everybody that was out there in Dubai that I personally know. Thank you for everything. And I will never take my access for granted. We got big plans, big ideas, big, big, big plans. So thank you for everybody. I love y'all. Sending love from my backyard. God bless you. It's your man Tyrese. I'll be back soon, baby. I'll be back soon. Peace. Tyrese Gibson and talking about the uh, meaning of life. Mm. Have you heard of this uh, Tyrese Gibson? Yes. Tyrese Gibson's also mm. like a very uh, good friend with Paul Walker. Mm. And he tweeted actually his video saying that this gave me life. That's amazing, isn't it? I've seen the video myself. We're, 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 we're going to go to a clip of it right now, mm. so people who haven't seen it will just go ahead for 30 seconds. You can see it right here. Then just turn up the radio as you learn to live a lifestyle of drugs, sex, and rock and roll. But in all honesty, I just need to know, is there more to the cycle than growing and getting old? Living and dying just to leave behind a happy home And a whole lot of property that somebody else is going to own I just really need to know before the casket's closed Cause I'm not willing to gamble with my soul Nor am I ready to take any chances These are just simple life questions And I'm just searching for some answers Like what are we doing here? And what is our purpose? How did we get here and who made us so perfect? And what happens once we go or is this world all really worth it?
So in this clip, the brother goes into what most people are doing with their life. They're just like robots, mm. just waking up for another day, mm. another dollar, like zombies being entertained, mm. music, movies, following their desires. Were you kind of living the same life? Yeah. I mean, it, it was just one gig after another, you know, and the saying is you're only as good as your last gig, you know, you're only as good as your last job because you're constantly chasing. You're chasing the, the, the world, you're chasing the dunya, uh, the, the material life, and you're never going to get there. You know, we, we see this with many of the stars or the, the, the famous people in the world. Uh, they have everything. They have the money, they have the wealth, they have the fame, but they're still not happy. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's, that's a fact. Mm. That's not mm. fiction. And people think like, okay, if I achieve this stardom, mm. I'm going to be like just in a yeah. world of bliss. Yeah. But there's some of the most yeah. miserable people. Yeah. You know, unhappy. Why are you taking drugs if you are happy? Yeah. Yeah. So when, when I opened up the show mm. and I mentioned people such as Paul Walker, the famous mm. movie star, Fast and the Furious, and then Tyrese Gibson, who actually tweeted mm. that this, gave, this, this um, video, this meaning of life, mm. it gave me life. Because, it, it, you know, when you look yeah. into Islam, Islam is not something, and did you find obviously the same thing, because it's not blind belief. You didn't yeah. come at this just blindly. Yeah. You had to make some really big sacrifices, yeah. being a former Christian, mm. And now you were investigating. You were yeah. using the faculties that the Creator gave you, didn't yeah. you? To yeah. realize that, to come to the reason, yeah. the realization that this is yeah. really indeed from yeah. the Creator. And it, Allah tells us in the Quran, we're not allowed to just follow blindly. You know, He tells us, bring your proof if you're truthful. Bring your proof. Yeah. And th this is not just for non-believers. This is also for Muslims. You know, many Muslims, they follow, uh, they say they're Muslim because their parents are Muslim. You know, this is not acceptable. We need to know why we're Muslim. You know, and, and Allah encourages us, to do, encourages us to do this in the Qur'an by looking for the proof. You cannot buy peace. I always say it. This is what I've said in the past. You cannot buy a six-pack of peace. Peace is something that comes yeah. from who? Yeah, the Creator. The Creator, the Maker, the one who yeah. made you. Yeah. So how, what advice would you give for him? And, and other people now like uh, Therese, yeah. who actually, the one who tweeted this uh, meaning of life, yeah. who's obviously, that got him thinking... Yeah. So, but there's a lot of negative mm. stereotypes associated mm. with Islam. So there's confusion. What do, mm. you, what do you advise people? Look towards Islam. And that's the only option. That's it. That is the only option. Where are you going to go? That's I mean, where are you going to keep, you know, going mm. and following your desires? Mm. And there's no happiness mm. there. I mean, the thing is, they, they come to the reality. They have all the money, the wealth, the fame, and they can't leave the house. Yeah. You know, the, all the friends around them, they can't trust anyone. You know, it's, it's not a nice place to be in. But with Islam, subhanAllah, you go to Mecca for Hajj mm -hmm. and you, you're all wearing the same clothes, you know, the, the same two sheets and you're performing the, rich, the, the rituals of Hajj and you don't know one person can be a millionaire, one person uh, can have no money. Yeah. You know, and it's a beautiful thing and a good, a good thing to actually read is the biography of Malcolm X and he yeah. speaks about this when he actually went to Hajj and he was sitting with millionaires and poor people. They all wearing the same thing, eating from the same pot, white, black. SubhanAllah, it's yeah. beautiful. So purpose of life, that's the crucial question. And do you believe that, I mean, that if you just take that simple step, that you ask your maker to guide you, that he'll guide you? Yes, I, I, I advise this a lot. Uh, so for people who are searching, put your head on the floor. In the, in, the, in the state of prostration, like all the prophets did, and ask the creator of the universe to show you the way, to guide you to the straight path. And it, someone who sincerely asks for guidance, subhanAllah, they'll find it in Islam. That's it, like you did, yeah. and, all, and so, so many, I mean, people, it's the fastest growing way of life in the world, uh, today, yesterday, and tomorrow, it's, it's growing because it's yeah. a, it has a believable message, and it's based on proof and evidence, not blind faith, is that yeah. right? Of course. Yeah. yeah. So, say he Allah is one. God is one. The maker of mankind. Exactly. Allah who summed that. Allah is self-sufficient. He doesn't need food or drink. He doesn't need to rest on the seventh day. Okay, I really had a problem with that even before I knew anything about Islam. God resting sounds like a weak God. Yeah. Um, Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He begets not. He doesn't have any children. Nor is he a child or born of anything or anyone. Wa lam yakul And there is nothing co-equal 
or compare more to him at all. Nobody. Nothing. Jesus. Not anything we can no, nobody. Nobody's comparable to the creator. Nothing. Yeah. And that right there was in its essence what I believe naturally. 